let's take a look at an action example here. And with this again, this is not a long, hard process that we've drawn now. Something that's very simple, very easy to do. But I need you to pay attention and make sure you understand. So with this, it says we're going to write each expression in expanded form and then find the sum. Expanded form is important. Make sure you know that that means that we're going to write it all out with our addition signs and everything because we said we're adding as a sum. Adding a list of numbers. That is summation. So we said again, we we're going to start off with the bottom number. And here four is the bottom number. So if we start off with that bottom number, means we're going to do 4 squared, Ooh, come on. 4 squared, and then plus, the next number is 5, the next number is 6, the next number is 7, and so all we went all the way until we get to number 9. So the only thing here is realizing that the square doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the variable. That's the only thing that's going to change here. So if we look at it, we do 4 squared, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, always 9, so that we can go ahead and get those numbers. And now let's go and put those in the calculator. Put 4 squared plus 5 squared plus 6 squared plus 7 squared plus 8 squared plus 9 squared into the calculator and see what your answer should be. You can pause the video to check yourself and make sure you did it right. We do that. It's 271. Okay, and I just said this, so I'm going to say this again in written form so everybody has it written down. The only thing that changes is the variable. Nothing else changed, no number changes. So you, did, you see that the square did not change at all. It stayed squared for every single one. It did not change that. It stays squared all the time. Whatever the variable is, it's the only thing that changes. The only thing that changes is the variable. Okay, so let's go to the next one. It's a little bit harder, just a little bit more stuff in there. But again, it's the same exact thing we just did. The only thing that changes is just the variable. So n is the only thing that's going to change with each one of these. So we know we're going to start off with 1, and we're going to end at 4. So here, 1, so the new parentheses, 1 squared minus 3, plus 2 squared minus 3, plus... 3 squared minus 3 plus 4 squared minus 3. So again, the only thing that changed was the variable, which is the letter n for this problem. That's the only thing that changes. So again, let's go ahead and add those up. Healthy. Hit pause really quickly. Then in the calculator, make sure you know how to do it. Hit pause. Okay. The answer should be 18 when you do this. So it's not a hard thing at all. This is very simple. This is all that happens when it comes to summation. Only other thing that you have to do is be able to go backwards. Take it so that you can actually do the opposite direction. Go from the summation, go from the actual numbers to the actual summation. Okay, so let's look at this last one here. Now I'll let you lose some, some practice in a few seconds. Right, again, we start off with 1, and we end with 3. And this is 1 half plus 4 to the r power. It's an exponent. r is an exponent. Exponent. And again, the only thing that changes is the exponent, or the, the, um, the variable. The only thing that changes is the variable. Start with one. Here we go. Let's see. And we go to three. Again, we 
put that into the calculator, and we are done. Depends on how you do it, you can get either a fraction or a decimal answer. Look at that. So that's not a hard thing. That's what summation is. But one thing before I go into giving you practices now, I wanted to go back, go into the actual calculator so you can see it that way too, because the calculator way does it, and it's like, bam, the answer's there. So here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to get to the calculator part. All right, so let's go back to like, um, let's go back to A. On this um, calc on the um, from the example, so if you look at a here, it says summation of the summation of x squared from four to nine. So what we're going to do to find our summation in a calculator, we're going to hit the math button, math. Hit the math button. We're going to go down to the to zero. We're going to go down to zero. And look, it's the summation symbol right there. So math zero gives us this summation. And all we do is just fill everything in. We're going to put x here. Put a 4. And go up and put 9 there. And then we're going to put the function there, which is x squared. Uh, which one's squared? Oops, sorry. x squared. My fault. And then we hit enter. Hey, that's what we got already. That's what we got. The, that's what we got for A. Let's try B. Again, math zero. And this one originally said n for that problem, but we're going to say x for the variable. We always use x for the variable. Always use x. And we get eighteen again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then let's do the last one, C in the calculator too. So math zero again. Again, we use X for the variable every time. We'll do the fraction one half. So alpha Y equals again. Whoa, that's what we said already. So all those work the same way in the calculator. So you can put the numbers in and get an answer. But here's the one thing I'm going to tell you. The thing that happened for this note, these notes, or this example, it says do the expanded form. So the expanded form right here, the expanded form. We're supposed to expand it out. Like we did here with the addition signs, plus the addition signs with all that, we expand it out and said find the sum. Now, if I just say find the sum, you can put it to the calculator and get an answer really quickly. If I say expand it out, make sure you write it out like it is for A, B, and C here. Write it out. Because if you don't write it out, I don't care the chance of I answer or not, it's just going to be wrong. Because I specifically say in directions to write it out. Expanded form means to write it out. Expanded form means to write it out. All right, so that's it. That's all you have to do with these. So let's go ahead and go to some practice.